This is Vogel Park on North George Street. It's about 5 p.m. <clears throat> Vogel Park is very nice looking in the winter because these big cedar trees, when they get snow on them, oh, it just looks beautiful. Wow, is it dark. Huh. Everything's yellow. <laughs> these houses should look these houses should look familiar. They're all uh, North George Street. I've done this many times. They should turn that house into a multiple family house. Make a ton of money. Plus, I like it when the leaves are on the ground, you know, they cover up the lawn. Makes it look nice. I think they have a football game today at RFA. That's up there. Coming up on my favorite house on North George Street. Kaboom! I just like it because of the big cedar trees in the back. Kind of epic. This is another house I like. Something. Go down. Wow. 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 Ooh, doggie. <laughs> <laughs> One thing that I know that the city DPW hates are all these little side streets. I mean, imagine, I mean, if you get snow on the ground, say, you know, six, seven inches of it, you have these uh, pickup trucks with the plows operated by the Department of Public Works, and you can start plowing like at uh, midnight and by seven or eight o'clock in the morning, you haven't even done half the roads yet. Rome has a lot of these little side. Wow, check out that brick. Huh. Looks like a ghost house. Pretty cool. I like the porch. Huh. I got no idea where I am. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> That's quite a house. I like it. The historic district. big houses. This house they've been working on for quite some time. I think it'll look really nice when they're done remodeling it. It's been an eyesore for a long time. Back on North George Street. But they are doing a nice job fixing it up. I hope they get the exterior done before the winter hits.
looks like an Adirondack house, you know, like a great camp. <laughs> stone house going up again back on North George Street after a brief recess I'd go to the dentist right now or any medical doctor, but the big problem with that is is that my parents have power of attorney. <laughs> so they basically snoop into everything of my life. So, yeah. <laughs> That's how they know if I go to the doctor or not. This is the Y MCA. They were gonna build a new one on Floyd Avenue. However, they didn't have the money for it. They began a project without having the funding for it. Idiots. So now the project is pretty much over because they removed the uh, construction signs telling people what they were building there. I see most of this end of North George Street is all Democrat. God help us. I like the pumpkin. Good sized church. Always like this church too. No matter what it is. Thankfully their steeple didn't get knocked down. Used to know a girl that lived in that building. She was hot. <laughs> Check out the skeletons. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> I always like the brick houses in Rome. I just wish that, well, whoever owns them would take better care of them. But people just don't. They fall apart or they rent them and they fall apart. <laughs> the city needs a strong codes enforcement as to how some of these historic houses should properly look. But the city will never do that. Uh, Court Street, I'm guessing. I think I did a video of them a while ago. Another old house. Check out that house. It's the houses with the flat roofs that got the most amount of damage from the July 16th storm. Oh, they're working on that house. Huh. I forgot where I was going. Oh yeah, all these. And they still don't have the occupants in this senior living center since July 16th. And I don't think they're going to be in this building until probably the spring of 2025, depending on how harsh the winter is. But the work on there is What's my saying? It's going at glacial speed.
if I were the if I were a tenant of that building, I would just find a a, a new place to reside permanently. I mean, I really would. Or the family of the individual should just look for a new place. I mean, it's just taking way too long. Other cities get hit by more damaging tornadoes and they're back up running within a few months. Us, it's going to be over a year. And that's with a small tornado. Key kiss. Let's go. Let's see what James is up to. He bought a new motorcycle, I think. <laughs> Unless it's John's, but I think it's James. I got nothing better to do. <laughs> Salvation Army, they they house uh, people in here when it's like below zero. The funny thing is, is that the next morning it can be below zero and they kick them out, I think by like eight or nine a.m. We used to own this building, and it's turned into quite the shithole. But we used to own that. It's amazing how the codes department does absolutely nothing to enforce this, because when we owned it, the codes department was always on us if the grass was over eight inches, uh, if there was weeds along the building, if there was garbage along the building. They always told us to get it cleaned up. These people, probably because they're freaking Mexicans or Guatemalans or whatever, they do absolutely nothing. And it's a dump. Good going, Rome City Codes Department. Good going. I mean... At least have them mow this grass. I mean, <laughs> good Christ, I used to mow it like twice a week. It's ridiculous. But look at all this shit along here. I mean, tons of trash back there. Of course, that's probably part of the uh, bar. Uh, they own part of that. And yeah, that bar is... That bar next to this building on the other side, that's a real scummy bar. But uh, still, I mean, <laughs> you know, what, a codes officer can't get his ass out of a nice warm vehicle and go inside and say, hey, you know, you got 10 days to clean all this up or, you know, you pay a fine. <laughs> I mean, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Goes to show you, it's a double standard if you're a minority. Because city does nothing about it. <laughs> when we owned this building, it was really nice. Now it's just a dump. Should have never got rid of this building. I think it was a piss poor plan to sell it. But that's my opinion, but... According to my parents, my opinion never matters. So, let's move on. P.S. This is uh, the West Dominic Street Art District. You got uh, Franca's uh, Wine uh, Bar there. Uh, tattoo shop, uh, bookstore, which I think is temporary, and the new location of 
Arizona Tacos is moving in there. That's where the Balance Chef used to be. See, they're moving in. And like I said, this is the location, the former location of the Balance Chef, which is kind of funny because they had a big TV show here Local media made a big deal out of it, of course, and then within a couple months, they shut down. I mean, wow, typical. But now Arizona Tacos, which used to be farther up West Dominic Street, is now moving down to this area. So it should be...